Hey guys, so uh, just a quick video here with my camera phone because apparently I left my camera at home. As you can see, new arrivals. It was probably a little shaky, but anyhow, this is a Tamiya M1025. Probably shouldn't have the book underneath there. Oh, there goes a pin. But anyhow, that's it. M1025 Hummer. Um, I got this in a deal from a guy on. Uh, Canadian RC Pickers and Traders, uh, it's a Facebook group, and I kind of jumped on it. Uh, there is some lights missing, but there's some in the bag here. In the bag here we have the original motor, you can tell by how yellow that is. We have the original speed controller, um, switches, stuff like that. It's um, in the bag because it's quite smoky and smells pretty bad. So anyhow, there's the the truck, the lid, this is on backwards, I have to flip that, this is supposed to be on the front side and it's not supposed to be one of these, it's supposed to be a gun mount there. One second. Alrighty, sorry about that, but you know, I'm at work, right? So anyhow, this is the Hummer lid, if I can grab it one-handed, maybe probably not. So anyhow, it's got your normal pegs at the back, but under the front it's got these guys, and one of them is actually missing. But all they do is grab underneath that bar there that they put a zip tie under to make it uh, hold better. So this is a four-wheel drive chassis. You got this little wire bar. It's got like a loop at one end here and another loop in it on this end here, and that's what drives it. I guess it's spring-loaded or something, gives it some tension, but it is four-wheel drive. And um, your servo lays down here. There's mounts from the bottom, and I guess your steering. Kind of, kind of very similar actually to the CC01 chassis in the way that the 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 front end is set up, and the steering linkages and everything. Uh, suspension arms, well, the same but different, right? That's what it boils down to for everything. Now this is the Hummer, but it was not exactly made very. Super duty, I guess you'd say, because, well, for a Hummer, you think it'd be done better, but. So, there's some things here, like this is. See, that was another one of these up here, and it shouldn't have been, and this should have been flipped around, and I'm going to do that later, because if I can get underneath here, I can show you. I had to clean this too, actually, so it's a little wet there. But just four screws, and you can take that off. Um, when I got this, it did really smell like bad smoke slash sitting forever in a shed or something like that kind of smell. So I did wash it out. So that's why it's airing out. And then that's the shell. And the book. And then another package arrived. The famous Hobby King package I've been waiting for. Oh... Now, there's some, okay, like I say, uh, I'm getting that easier than I thought. So I got four of these buggers, so I'll focus on them. Focus, no, don't want to focus. Well, anyhow, they're just, no, it doesn't want to focus on them. There we go. They're just Hobby King uh, 1520, or 15269 servos. They were, um, fair decent amount of torque and um, cheap like Borsch like I think two or three dollars each they were I got an invoice form somewhere I gotta look that up and then another thing that they had which this was the only one they had or the type they had I guess not the only one but you can see that that yep that is a brushed ESC and it has the Tamiya ends, bullet ends for the motor. Sorry, I can't see that. And there's your um, receiver out there. And, uh, yeah, it's once again not easy to see inside those bags, but they're in the static bags. I thought I ordered more than two, but for how long I had to wait for this order, I should have. I ordered this, oh, halfway through September, and it is now technically November the 15th so you can see how long I waited that's a 
Always reassuring, right? You got a hole in the side of the box. And this is one of uh, my other favorite uh, things. This will be the third controller I have ordered like this. This is my double stick. Um, 2.4 gigahertz six channel uh, radio. And it comes with a receiver. It's 2.4 gigahertz. If I can ever get this out of here to show you. And um, what I like about it the most, if it's not catching on everything, which it seems to. A little moment here. The name of videos and stuff. There we go. Alright. So there it is. So you got this channel here. I like this for the semi because you know you just set it ahead a little bit. It can just creep along. Not really good if you're doing high speed stuff. But 2.4 gigahertz. Um, you can program these for those switches for to do stuff but they work with this channel and then that one works with that channel kind of thing. And full full trim that works because it works on my semi because the semi uses the trim with the multifunction unit for different controls in it and uh, it's light but it takes I think uh, eight AA batteries in there there you hook up your trainer or your uh, USB cable I have one of those already so I didn't have to order it and another thing I like that's the receiver that's it there's the bind plug in there See if I can. No, that's what I'm But uh, you can see there's a lot of channels. There we go. Six channels and a bit of a big uh, remote there or antenna thing here at the end. But that's it. So that's my haul from Hobby King. Oh, you know, like like that's fun, but this is like even more fun. Waha. So anyhow, I'm um, going to add this all up and get it up to YouTube's. Um, I don't know, I'm going to have to find maybe another kind of pistol grip one or something like that. And maybe steal the one out of the Bronco and use that. But i got to order some motors and pinions. This one didn't come with a pinion. Um, there is a few things I have to order for this truck. They were not included in here. But let's see here. Um, if I want the lights that are missing, I got to order H, which is not easy to find. And I got to order two of these D parts. That's for under the hood holder. That's that bar they hold on to. These are things that are on the, the hood of the Hummer. And uh, mirror, stuff like that. This tree comes black, so that's good. And then I need this one here for the motor. Because it bolts onto the motor here and then goes into there, and then that's how it holds on. It's um kind of weird, and well, even this book kind of smells. But those things on the hood go right here. You paint them black or whatever different color. Then your two signal lights and your headlights, and you got to paint the headlights. They don't come with the different colored glass and stuff like that, or well, plastic. And there's going to be a bunch of leftover parts. These are all um, upper and lower arms. But uh, there's the steering knuckle tree. Like, I don't know, there's a lot. And for only needing this, and then you get the cross member and extra panels and stuff. Like, that's the only part I'm going to be using out of that one. Once again, I'm not centered. And, yeah, I'm only going to be using these. I won't be using that. Uh, it's kind of disappointing, but... I found a place on eBay that sells all the trees and stuff for like 10, 15 bucks a piece. So comes out of China, of course, but you know, eBay it'll actually be there within you know a few weeks instead of a couple months like <clears throat> Hobby King. So anyhow, that's it for uh, this one, I guess. Um, I don't know. Once again, more setbacks, but uh, at least I got some more parts in. So I've been working on the um, M03. Making that into the Dodge Charger. Some of you guys have seen that on the Facebook. But it's the uh, Tamiya Mini chassis. Like Mini Cooper. And yeah, it kind of sits high, but there's a reason. Under the hood there, you see this gray bar here. Well, there's another knob there, and 
that's the servo holder so actually I gotta look and find through the manual for this too to see if I need one of those stupid uh, uh, it doesn't look like I need it for this one but like the motor goes right there right so it doesn't need that stupid holder thing again so that's good so anyhow um, that's it for this update uh, any questions comments concerns leave them down below even with the screwed up uh, commenting uh, commenting on there with the Google Plus and all that other crap this is the first, like, first video I've made since the Google Plus rollout so yeah bear with me here but uh, any other RC's you want to see or you want to see some bashing videos or romping videos or whatever uh, let me know I'll try to do what I can and hopefully I'll have my actual camera with me instead of my um, Galaxy or Samsung Galaxy Mega because you know, this is big and everything, but you know when you're this big, they call you Mister.